feel them in my crown. Each strand seems like saying, come sit now, I'll tell you my story. The lines on my forehead, the freckles on my cheeks, this extra crease around my neck, as I caress them all softly, they embrace me in a warm hug and say, sit for a while and gossip with us. Did anyone here say wrinkles? Nay, that's the supreme artist bearing his brush on the canvas of my life. Did I hear dark circles? No, that's the rangoli around my eyes. So with a spring in my steps and open arms, I welcome every symbol, every sign that celebrates each milestone of my life. But then I look around and what do I see? Millennials, the Generation Z, the world is raving about you all and I wonder who will ever talk about us midlifers, especially the mothers who gave birth to this awesome Gen Next and are now raising them too. So presenting the story of our lives, transcending through our roles as mothers, daughters, wives, but trust me, there is much more to us than just that too. The world addresses global warming and erratic weathers. I wonder who will talk about our fluctuating temperatures. The upper zones can beat the most blazing deserts some days. The down unders are perpetually in sub zeros. Challenges to keep up a pleasant shine uphill task when gravity has started working over time. Gray hairs are popping up in the strangest of pockets, like that thousand rupee note, remember? That thousand rupee note that kept emerging post demonetization out of deserted wallets. Did someone here say it's my age to sit back and assess, reassess my investments and profits? Come on, I do that every day. The real estate in my backyard has appreciated. My chins have doubled like the most promising mutual funds. My jawline has vanished like Malaya and Modi, Nero, I meant. But I'm a die-hard optimist, like my fellow countrymen. I believe they'll all be back. They'll all be back, as will be, maybe, my marginal curves, or who knows, even six-pack abs. Some days, I'm stiff and literally so, as if my bones have been dipped in revive and sun-dried, too. The next morning, I take charge of my body and mind and embark upon a century ride. That's the way, at my age, one between the legs I define. My fellow midlifers are acing marathons and triathlons, an orgy of exercises, I wickedly call them. Age or agility, forget it. Raising you all, the millennial kids has taught us, nothing is impossible, it's all up there in the mind. Some days I'm laughing out impishly like a child, teasing my son, he's there, about his heartbreaks and crushes. I tell him I just had one too. He blurts out, Mother India, what the hell are you up to? I quickly add, oops, did I say crushes? I meant hot flushes. <laughs> but you know what? Shh. Midlife is the second teenage. Just that life has taught us how to smartly moderate because hormones will be brats. They will be up to pranks while going or while coming. And yes, coming, coming. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly it sounds so overrated. It is as if not linked to Adhar. It might soon get deactivated. Some days, I'm struggling to cut out the cacophony, the din of relations, of responsibilities, of judgments, of opinions. The next moment, 
I can make music and sonnets out of the same noisy dissonance. With all my demons, I have made peace. Instead, I'm now flirting with all my dreams. Four decades and more of seeing patriarchy at its peak, stereotypes being soiled, cobwebs crumbling, the toughest were the ones that were lurking inside our houses. Still a long, long way to go. So to the men around, dear darlings, fathers, sons, husbands, brothers, and others, and others, and others, because giving is a habit we cannot give up on, doesn't mean our rights, our dignity, we have offered you on a platter. <laughs> to love and to nurture was never an option. To love and to nurture was never an option. That is in our DNA. That is how I am wired. I'm the rock by your shore if your waves are severe. I'm your anchor if you feel fragile or lost. But to guard my own self-respect, I know pretty well how to disconnect. To the hilt, I love to play a myriad of my roles. But I can rise above each to go on a blind date with my soul. Forever, forever a feminist. Step on a legit riot, I'll dust your doubts. But I'm also sandwiched between eras. I'm the connector between generations. So I'll uphold what I strongly believe in, but sieve out my cynicism and pass on just the best. So I'm not burning bras anymore, more so because at my age, I need them lots more. <laughs> Neither guilty nor apologetic about the choices I made. Don't call them my sacrifices. I'm no goddess, I'm no sage. But do not belittle my surging ahead either. Up in my head, I was always crystal clear when to zoom on, when to pull my reins, and today, four decades and a half, yes, I'm giving out my age, four decades and a half in the bliss of my haven, my work, my offspring, I celebrate every war, every ceasefire, every balance that I have made. I am a superhero, 